Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Project 365 Outdoors. I'm about to show you a product. It's not new. Uh, it's been out for a couple of years, maybe two or three. But I'm about to show you a product that I love. It's a must. If you turkey hunt or if you deer hunt with a rifle or slug gun, it's a must have product. Check it out guys, one man chair blind. This thing, this thing is freaking awesome. Oh, so I'm about to show you everything about it. I mean, it's so easy. And there's several things I want to show you about it. It'll save you, uh, it, you, you gotta practice with this thing is really what I mean. Oh. So, once you get it open, it's very, very simple. Pull this open. Okay, so I'm sitting in the blind. And a couple things I want to show you. Uh, a couple things that you need to practice and learn how to do. So you've got one, two, three, four, five uh, windows. Of course, the front one is the biggest. Hopefully you can set this blind up in the direction that you think the deer are going to cross. Okay? Because you'll have a little bit better view. Now these side windows, I don't usually open them all the way, just enough to kind of peek out. The back part of this, uh, it, there's no window, and that's good and bad. You can't peek out the back. You can kind of look out this little side window and see a little bit behind you. But the it's also good because this breaks up your silhouette. Now you can close these, you know, a little more, not have as much. Uh, room you know to look out so here's a couple things you need to try to figure out all right I'm right-handed so if I want to shoot out to my left because I'm right-handed and grab my gun something you need to practice and something you need to learn how to do so if I want to shoot uh, if there's a, a deer or turkey that's to my right that's a pretty easy deal Slip that gun through there. Okay. And obviously that's pretty easy. I can get that out. Easy. Now here's the tricky part. I'm right handed. So, uh, what if the deer is to my right? All right? Well I can't, there's no way I can shoot that. I can't spin around and get the gun out and get that on my right shoulder. Right? So what? You have to do, and this has happened to me. It's happened to me uh, a couple years uh, in this blind. So, big aid I had, I was sitting kind of, had this blind sitting on a little hill. I was overlooking the bottom. Well, of course, the deer came to my right. Um, so, big eight, I was gonna shoot him. So what I had to do is, you gotta learn how to shoot left-handed too. Because if he's over here, uh, don't let that deer if, if it's a turkey or a deer that you want to kill, well, don't let him go just because you can't shoot. But you can get the gun out and shoot left-handed. That gun will sit right in front of you. It'll lean up against the window pretty steady. This is this is a chair like you would take to a uh, if you were camping or to a football game or to a you know a baseball game or it's just like a. a this is just like a an outdoor chair. Practice uh, these different positions, left, right, and try to try to get it to where you can be smooth. You're not making a lot of movement. Um, just very simple. Take your time. Just be real smooth about it. Take that gun up. That deer's coming. Boom. Same thing right here. Practice being smooth with it and getting that gun up and not, you know, moving around, getting them, making this thing bounce or whatever. See, that was almost perfect. All right, so I've got the camera inside the blind. So you can see that uh, uh, it's, you know, 
it's a little bit tight, but there's still some room. You can see right here, uh, there, there's plenty of leg room. Not a lot to it. Just like that. Got my little stopwatch out here on my phone. I'm gonna take it out of the bag and set it up and we'll see how long it takes. Taking a little longer. Okay, so 40 seconds is actually what it took, but I also took it out of the bag, uh, which might have took, you know, seven or eight seconds. But regardless, even if you could do it, and I and I was rushing it but um uh, which is a good point so if i had this on my back and i was turkey hunting and i needed to get set up in that really quick then 40 seconds uh out of the bag sitting in it covered up that's that's not bad but this is just a little something extra uh, to uh, throw in the truck that i can carry with me quickly and uh, put up in a really a matter of seconds so uh, hopefully you've got one hey, i want to thank you for for watching this video it, just a quick tip on some things that i use and that that i trust and i think that are great products and uh thanks for tuning in i'm john smith project 365 outdoors thanks for tuning in